Howdy everyone, this is your buddy BP, back at it again in Smite, in Clash, playing as Athena, partially because there's an Odyssey quest, and partially because I just like playing as Athena. She's one of my favorite gods to play. Sorry it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video, it's actually been, I think, a little over a week. I've kind of needed some time off of, you know, being on YouTube so I can take care of some of my, uh, in real life responsibilities, some of my uh, career related responsibilities, stuff like that. Uh, I, I got over a major hurdle earlier today, and uh, I still have a few more things to go, but I got one of the big things out of the way, so I'm getting a little closer. Hopefully by the time the holidays are over, uh, things will be going a little bit smoother. But yeah, uh, I also wanted to go ahead and mention about, uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link in the trailer, the, um, or rather, excuse me, the description, the trailer for what is going to be Alita Battle Angel. I never thought they'd actually make this movie. Apparently this movie's been in, like, development hell for, like, well over a decade. James Cameron's been wanting to make this movie for, since, I want to say, 2003 or something? Like, he's really been wanting to make a movie on this for a while now. And uh, he's never been able to quite get it off the ground, and now that he's kind of, you know, stuck making uh, Avatar movies, it's pretty much, uh, he's pretty much committed himself to the fact that he's never going to be able to have the time to direct it himself. So uh, he's handed the reins over to uh, director Robert Rodriguez, who's done um, a few things that I like. And I, I'd never thought we'd ever see this movie. I thought, I was like, yeah, you know, James Cameron keeps talking about it, but it's never going to happen. You know, he, he's just talking about it. He's too busy with other responsibilities. And then one day I'm looking at my um, Facebook, um, or not my Facebook, I can't even remember last time I used Facebook, my uh, YouTube um, recommendations or whatever, and I see a trailer for Alita Battle Angel. And I'm like, nah, -uh, nah, D don't say that. Don't say that unless it's true, because <laughs> I don't think I can take that being a lie. Because the thing about this uh, this series, this Battle Angel series, is that it's it's a little it's a little special to me. It's a little close to my heart, I guess you could say. Um, true story. Um, Battle Angel was the first anime I had ever seen in my life. The very first. Uh, this is way back in like the later half in the '90s, like around '97 or something like that. And I remember, like, kind of all my other friends were getting into anime. Because back then it was uh, not quite like how it is today. It was a little bit more of a smaller, insular kind of community. You know, it wasn't like how it is today where there's, you know, you know, it's a much bigger phenomenon. Um, but yeah, back then, like, all my friends were getting into it. And I would read, like, gaming magazines because those were still a big deal back then. <laughs> um, and I would be thinking to myself, it's like you know, what's this anime thing? I need to get into it. And so I went to my local Blockbuster video. Remember those? And uh, <laughs> and they had an anime section. It was like a little section. It was just like one like like shelf, or rather it was like a shelf case. It was like, like maybe like four or five rows of uh, VHS tapes. From, again, remember those? Remember VHS tapes? And uh, it was just this one like little like... Um, like little case dedicated to all the anime they had so they didn't have a very big selection but they had a few things and I didn't know what any of it was because it was all new to me and I was like you know what? I'm just gonna look here and pick out something that looks like it might be interesting and the first and I picked out a uh, battle angel and it was the first anime I had ever seen and this was back when I was I want to say I was like a, I was in middle school at the time and uh, let me tell you, it, it blew my mind when I first saw it because never before had I ever seen anyone uh, use the medium of animation to tell that kind of a story. And it, it was, I mean, it was just, everything about it was like right up my alley. You know, it had like, you know, it was cyberpunk and sci-fi and dystopian futures with, you know, there was like action and there was mystery and there was like little tiny bits of social commentary and there's romance and there's tragedy and there's just so much stuff to it. And it, it's kind of funny because not a lot of anime really <laughs> kind of lived up to it after that. It was kind of a good first impression. On retrospect, the, uh, the English dub for it wasn't quite as good. <laughs> Um, looking back, I mean, the, the English dub had some pretty awkward moments, but I still think, other than that, it, it technically holds up. It's one of those old-school animes made back, like, in 93 or something, 
where all of it was hand drawn. You know, before you know today, when like a lot of stuff is done on computer, nope, everything was hand drawn, so it has that very sort of organic look to it. And it it was amazing. I'd never seen anything like it, and that's what initially got me hooked on uh, anime back when I was a kid. As I got older and I started going to like college, my interest in anime kind of waned a bit. It kind of, I kind of found myself, you know, reserved to the to the idea that uh, a lot of this stuff is kind of just like the same. You know, there's like a lot of samey things. Like one anime I was interested in when I was a kid was. Um, was Tenshi Muyo. I don't know how many folks here uh, listening to this remember Tenshi Muyo, but I really loved it back when I was a kid. And I was like, oh my goodness, this show is so wacky. It's this guy, and he has all of these available women from outer space living with him in the same house. And it's like, that's so funny and crazy. And then you start watching more and more anime, and then it comes apparent to you that actually this is uh this is kind of common <laughs> there's actually a lot of animes like this it's its own little like sort of sub genre within the genre and you know it kind of loses its charm after that but um uh, even after my interest sort of waned you know I, I still kept up with some stuff like you know Hayao Miyazaki and uh you know, some other things like that, like Cowboy Bebop. Like, I kept up with a few things, but for the most part, my interest in um, the genre kind of faded. And yet, even as it faded, uh, I've always had an interest in Battle Angels because, you know, that ori original impression it made, you know, I just loved it so much. It was just, everything about it was right up my alley. It really hit me in the uh, nostalgia. And while I knew that Cameron was wanting to make a movie and want to make it really bad he's been like talking about it for like 15 years or something and i'm thinking it's just not gonna happen it's it's just not to be he, he's just talking out the side of his neck and now we finally get it we finally get the trailer and i've seen it and i gotta say so far i, I like what i see it, it's very satisfying i i enjoy it quite i enjoyed a lot what i saw of course a lot of people are talking because, you know, the whole thing where they took Alita and gave her these big CGI eyes that are kind of um, inhuman looking. But, uh, I mean, I guess that's kind of part of uh, part of her character. She, she isn't entirely human. She, she's sort of artificial, so it kind of makes sense that she has an artificial doll-like appearance about her. But... I mean, I, other than that, uh, I, I kind of like what I, what I see. Some, some of the um, CG was a little rough looking, like there was an action shot where she's kind of like flying through the air slow-mo. It looks a little rough, but then again, this movie, you know, it, it still has, it's not going to come out till July next year, so it's still in like post-production. There's still a lot of time to kind of clean everything up, I suppose. So, you know, I, I'm not too worried about, you know, the you know, the CG looking too rough, because there's plenty of time to fix it. Other than that, um, I mean, the aesthetics look great. The sets look just like how it is in the manga, because it was, it was mostly a manga, even though my original introduction to it was the anime. The anime was like, oh my god. I mean, it was just, just the one video that lasts like an hour, and they never expanded upon it. It's mostly known for being like a manga. It's sort of a, a comic series. A graphic novel, if you will, I suppose. And uh, and I read the original too. I never read any of the sequel series, though. From what I understand, I kind of um, I kind of stopped reading at a good spot. <laughs> Apparently, the story kind of started flying off the rails in the sequels. But um... <clears throat> ooh, excuse me, I just got finished eating before I sat uh, sat down to do this. But uh, I like what I see. And one of the things that really imp uh, impresses me is the cast. They really went out and got an all-star cast for this. I mean, they got, like, what, three Academy Award winners? Plus, they got Christoph Waltz to play um, Dr. Um, Ito. And I'm like, that's probably one of the best casting decisions I've seen in a long time. I, at this point, I don't think I, I could have even come up with someone better than that. Christoph Waltz, he's just so damn good. They got three Academy Award winners to be in this movie. They don't... It's almost like they're not even trying to make this, like, a great summer movie. It's almost like they're trying to go for an Oscar with this. I, I hope it's Oscar good. I really want to, because, like I said, I, this is a series that's been close to my heart for, like, some somewhere close to, like, 20 years now. And it just looks so nice. And, and like I said, it's just a teaser. It's only, like, a two-minute teaser. There's not much to it, and it's still kind of in, uh, in post-production, but... Man, it, 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 
so far, I just don't see anything that's, like, glaringly wrong. Like, and the whole thing with, like, the big eyes, I'm telling you right now, it, it, a after multiple viewings of the, um, of the trailer, it just doesn't quite bother me all that much anymore. It, it really doesn't. And I, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing where this goes. Um, anime and movies hasn't had quite a uh, quite a good uh, history. They did the Ghost in the Shell movie earlier, I think it was this year, and it just it, it didn't go over very well. Uh, I didn't even see it. I, I wasn't interested in it. I, I liked Ghost in the Shell. I thought I thought it was pretty good, but I wasn't interested enough to see like a live action movie of it. And then of course there was the Speed Racer movie that came out like years ago, and. Uh, you know what? Speed Racer, for what it was, I, I could see what the Wachowskis were going um, with it. For what it was, uh, I still appreciated it. There's still some moments where it was kind of, you know, grating. It was, it was a little bit of um, a little hard to watch at some points, but for the most part, I saw where they were going with it. They weren't trying to take themselves too seriously. They knew they had a very cartoonish property on their hands, so they wanted to make the movie kind of cartoonish as well. I'm like, you know, that's fine. Um, um, I can respect that. So, But a lot of folks did not like that movie, and I perfectly understand why folks don't like that movie. And it seems like, for a while, it's like, we're never going to get a truly great anime movie. Oh, also, they tried to make a Dragon Ball movie once, but I never saw that. I took one look at that, at like that poster for it in a movie theater once and I knew that shit was gonna be <laughs> that shit was gonna be um doo doo garbage you know <laughs> like nah it just wasn't gonna happen you know I, w I was just not interested in that but it, it almost feels like you know like all the ingredients are there to make a truly great anime adaptation this time we got James Cameron producing. We got Robert Rodriguez in the director's seat. I gotta say, um, even though Robert Rodriguez is making this, and I guess it's it, he's a fairly good fit because he's used to making movies that are really heavy on the CGI, and this is definitely definitely going to be one of those movies. Even though it's a Robert Rodriguez directed film, it kind of looks more like a James Cameron film aesthetically, like. Um, you know, it's like, it's really kind of James Cameron's film, and uh, <laughs> and uh, Robert Rodriguez is just the guy in the director's chair this time. But I gotta say, um, like I said, nothing really stands out to me as being glaringly wrong with uh, with this film, with the way it looks so far. I, I'm, I'm hungry for more. This is like the first time in a long time I've actually been like excited to see a film like I've, I've kind of I don't really get excited by like Marvel stuff or DC stuff anymore I haven't even seen the trailer to the new Star Wars film and I kind of don't want to I'm gonna go see the Star Wars film anyway but I don't want to see any of the promotional material none of the trailers none of the TV spots I kind of want to go in knowing absolutely nothing so everything feels kind of like a surprise to me you know I kind of want it to be that way so, but yeah, um, I can't remember the last time I really felt like, like hyped, like really excited for a film, and this is a movie that just happens to hit me right in the the right in the nostalgia. I had a hard time getting that word out. Excuse me, and and I gotta say, it, it feels good to like be excited for a movie again because you know it's been a long time since I've been excited for a film, and this is something that looks like it, it's it. I, I want to see it. You know, I've almost been interested to go back and read those original mangas. I went back and watched a little bit of the um, of the anime. You can probably find it on YouTube. It's only like an hour long. Um, <laughs> the original dub is uh, <laughs> not the best, but it it's still like storyline wise, it, it's a delight. I think I, I still enjoy it a lot. It's definitely one of my favorite original stories uh, to come out of sort of like manga and anime. So. Yeah, very hyped. It feels good to be hyped for something, to be interested in a movie again, and I really hope this is good. I really do. Um, actually, you know, on second thought, maybe you should avoid seeing the um, the anime. I kind of take that back because, from what I from what I understand, they want to stay uh, fairly faithful to the uh, source material, and. Uh, if you go and see the anime, it might kind of spoil the film for you and, you know, some of the uh, big plot twists and uh, stuff like that. And I don't want y'all to go into the movie feeling like it's 
this, you know, has been spoiled for you. So maybe avoid that. Maybe you should uh, reconsider uh, doing that. But uh, still, um, I I'm hyped here. I, I hope it does well. I hope it's as good as the trailer suggests. I'm going to go ahead and end this here. This game's almost over anyway. I, I did, did way better as Athena here than I anticipated I would. But yeah, I'll go ahead and let the footage go, uh, go here. Uh, hopefully I'll get back on track to making videos at a more routine pace. Uh, if you like this video, then spank that like button. Also, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. If you have any feedback for me, I love hearing back from you, and I try to respond to as many people as I can. And as always, y'all be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.